What's happening guys? Keith here with another Impact Wrestling Review. So this was the go home episode to the Redemption pay-per-view. So this episode basically prepared you for what's going to happen Sunday night. Um, not too much going on tonight. Um, like I said, everything was kind of already set up. All the matches were made, so we pretty much got a lot of video packages and we saw the triple threat match that happened at Lucha Underground versus Impact Wrestling in our main event tonight, um, which is going to be a rematch at the pay-per-view, so I guess it was the smart idea to have that being shown on your, well, your prime spotlight for the company. So let's get into things. So we open the show with basically the same way we closed the show last week, um, addressing the Alberto El Patron firing and how we got the new main event of Pentagon versus Phoenix versus Austin Aries for redemption. Um, so yeah, I was kind of bringing everybody up to speed. Our first match of the night was Braxton Sutter and Sue Young versus Kier Hogan and Falaba. Uh, I thought they put on a decent little match here. It was a good match to open the show. Um, we, it, this was labeled an intergender match, so we did see female versus male in the match, which was it was good to see. They had a couple good spots with uh, Su Young hitting Falaba with a uh, a rolling senton off the apron onto him on the outside. Um, Kira Hogan ended up getting a couple shots on Braxton. So basically, the ending of the match was that the ref was distracted with Sutter in the corner. And Sue Young had gotten the kendo stick, hit Falaba in the back. He turns around, starts to go after Sue Young. Braxton takes him, throws him out of the ring. At this point, Kira Hogan hits a tornado DDT on Sutter. He goes down. Sue Young takes advantage, hits Kira with the panic switch, and that was the match. Um, after the match. Ali attacks Su Young from behind, from the entranceway. Um, the two start battling it out. Braxton Sutter holds Su Young back. Referees come and hold Ali back, and that was that. So, good opening match. Um, we head out to LAX's clubhouse, and Ortiz and Santana are trying to figure out Scott Steiner. Conan said that you can't figure out Scott Steiner as he is unpredictable. He says he may not show up. He may show up late. Hell, he may even beat up Eli Drake. You never know what Scott is going to do, which is very true. You can't argue with Conan there. So we head to the virtual studio, and Sanjay and Josh Matthews talk about the tag title match at Redemption and the hype the rest of the show. So we go backstage, and Jimmy Jacobs is interviewed by Mackenzie. Uh, he tells Mackenzie that she's pretty. Then he asks Mackenzie what it's like to get things just for her looks. He said that's the problem with Johnny. Johnny gets opportunities because of who he is and how he looks, not for the, his hard work that he thinks he puts in. He says Congo Kong is going to ruin Johnny's pretty face tonight. It was a great promo by Jimmy Jacobs, which isn't a surprise. And then we get a video package that's narrated by Sammy Callahan of the events that took place between himself and Eddie Edwards that kind of led up to the match at Redemption, which is a House of Hardcore match with OVE, Sammy Callahan, the Chris Brothers versus Moose, Eddie Edwards, and Tommy Dreamer. Um, then this was an odd segment. We kind of panned to the crowd in the impact zone, and then Josh says, let's take a look back, and we get the GWN flashback with Kurt Angle versus Bobby Roode, and I was like, okay. This really isn't relevant to anything, but whatever. And it went on for a while, but what are you going to do? So KM comes out, and he calls himself an innovator. He said he's going to create the KM Open Challenge, and he said it's only available to top talent. You know, guys like Dwayne Gill, Brooklyn Brawler. So basically, Jobber is what he's talking about. To be honest, I expected James Ellsworth to come out, but obviously... Brian Cage comes out. He <laughs> at this point, KM's just like, I'm like, ah. Oh. He's like, uh, I wasn't really talking about you. He's like, we're boys. And then he tries to fist bump him. And then KM starts to leave. Cage pulls him in. Bell rings. And Brian Cage beats the crap out of KM in about two minutes. Hits an F5 for the win. 
And that was that. So then we get a video package uh, narrated by Jimmy Jacobs, basically highlighting Congo Kong and showing what he's done in Impact Wrestling, which brings us into the Congo Kong versus Johnny Impact match. Um, I thought they put on a decent match for what it was. Um, not finished here, apparently. Uh, basically, this was, you know, Kong Kong's strength versus Johnny Impact's speed. I mean, Kong pretty much controlled the majority of the match. Impact getting little bits of offenses here and there. Action goes to the outside. Uh, Kong goes to throw Impact into the steps. Johnny jumps over the steps. Goes, jumps at Kong. Kong, I think he catches him. Throws him into the steps. Johnny's laying with his back against the steps. Kongo comes running. Does a rolling senton. Hits Impact into the steps at this point impacts kind of down and out uh kong gets you know a signal from jimmy jacobs jimmy jacobs you know just gives him signal uh kong throws the referee into the guardrail they pick up the steel steps wedge it between the ropes on the apron and then congo kong is fighting with uh johnny impact on the ramp he takes impact and kind of lawn darts him into the steps Johnny's gushing blood out of his mouth, the nose area. And at this point, the referees just tend to impact, and Congo Kong and Jimmy Jacobs just walk away. So apparently, this isn't over. Um, and, you know, he did exactly what they he said he was going to do. We go to commercial and come back, and then we see Johnny being tended to in the back, which uh, we were kind of wondering what was uh, Johnny Impact's status with as he wasn't at the Lucha Underground versus Impact Wrestling show. We haven't really heard much. He doesn't have a match at the pay-per-view. So, I don't know. Don't know. I know him and Taya, I think, recently uh, extended their contract. I think I talked about it maybe in December, early January. So, I mean, I would assume that he will be at the next set of tapings, but you never know. Uh, so, let me get a preview of the Alley versus Sue Young match, and then one of Matt Seidel versus Petey Williams, and then LAX versus Scott Steiner, so, and, and Eli Drake. Uh, then we actually get an Eli Drake interview. Uh, he says that he is the man swimming in gold. He says people said that he had to be down and out after losing the title, but he is now double feasting. At this point, Scott Steiner comes in, he says, I like your style, Eli. And then he calls Conan a bitch, and then he says, April 22nd, you're looking at the new tag team champions. So, that was that. Um, I really wish they that we had gotten more of the LAX versus Scott Steiner and Eli Drake, just because, you know, they're both gold on the microphone, and Scott Steiner's always an interesting person, as, uh, we well, we've all known that, but... Uh, for him being on the teleconference. I didn't get a chance to listen to it yet, but uh, what I had read was uh, pretty ridiculous. And then our main event for the evening was Austin Aries versus Pentagon versus Phoenix from Lucha Underground versus Impact Wrestling at WrestleCon, um, where we saw a Pentagon pin Phoenix for the victory. So that was pretty much Impact Wrestling. Um, like I said, it was mostly a show to showcase what's going to happen at the uh, Redemption pay-per-view. Uh, I plan on having my preview and predictions video up tomorrow night. Um, kind of on the fence with a lot of matches. Seems like a lot of things can go either way. Uh, this is a completely new booking team, so you know sometimes with companies you kind of tend to notice how they book matches, but this everything's kind of up in the air. I think pretty much any match can be won by either competitor or the multiple competitors. But, yeah, so that was my Impact Wrestling review. I will catch you guys probably tomorrow night for my preview and predictions video, then Saturday for the Impact Report, and either Sunday or Monday for my Redemption review. So thanks for checking out my video, and until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.